Greetings, everyone. This is uh, Dr. Joseph Caprini uh, from the United States. And I'm coming to you today on the occasion of World Thrombosis Day, October 13th. Why October 13th? It happens to be Professor Rudolf Virchow's birthday. And Virchow was a famous scientist, a pathologist who lived uh, in the uh, 1800s. And behind me, you see a picture of his lectures, lecture hall. And uh, that is on the wall, but this is actually in the lecture hall after the bombing, and it was never completely restored. And Professor Virchow came up with the three principles that when added together or even individually were responsible for producing venous blood clots. Sludging of blood, so-called stasis, so when the blood flow slows down, and this is for venous blood clots. Hypercoagulability, when the blood clots more than normal. And number three is vascular wall injury, when there is disruption of the lining of a, of a vein, uh, which then allows the blood to clot. When all three fact these factors are, are present, the likelihood of a blood clot is very, very likely. Now, what, what are we talking about? This is commonly referred to as venous thromboembolism. And this means a clot usually from the arms, legs, or pelvis. That's uh, deep vein thrombosis. And then that clot can travel to the lungs, causing a pulmonary embolus. Together, it's known as venous thromboembolism. Now, this is a, uh, an incredibly important uh, problem because fatal pulmonary emboli are the leading cause of death after hospitalization, including postoperatively. Preventable, preventable if right measures are taken. And um, more than 10 million people worldwide are affected in a given year, 100 to 300,000 deaths in the U.S., 544,000 deaths were recently estimated in the recent year uh, in Europe. And this is more deaths than motor vehicle accidents, breast cancer, prostate cancer, or AIDS put together. So now, how do we prevent this? We prevent this through risk assessment. And there's several risk assessment scores that can be used. And um, I have uh, worked with others to develop one of those scores. And I've been very fortunate to become involved with the Global Thrombosis Forum, which is an educational uh, 501c3 uh, corp non-for-profit non corporation dedicated to educating young people and, and uh, two young people, and now four more, have got involved in a very important project where they take this risk assessment score home to their families and friends. Together, they figure it out, and they come back with these this likelihood of thrombosis. And those scores, again, then can be taken by the patients and put into their medical record uh, through their doctor. And then when they get injured and come in, all that information is available. And in that way, we can help produce or lower the incidence of blood clots. And I would say that if every high school in the United States followed the global thrombosis program, then there would be a dramatic decrease in deaths from pulmonary embolism throughout the United States. So I'm, uh, my hat's off and I'm dedicated to Dr. Atul, Atul Ladue, who founded with his wife this organization. And I'd like to thank you uh, for listening to this and uh, stay safe and have a great day. Thank you.